Following total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why we at Vault-Tec have prepared these educational materials for you to better understand the seven defining attributes that make you special. Got your rabbit's foot? Good. It's time we talk about luck. The difference between whether you live or die in the post-nuclear world may depend on the flip of a coin. Luck is a mysterious sort of curiosity. See here? A well-placed shot may not always do the trick. If Lady Luck favors you, though, you'll find those critical moments a breeze. What's this? Only scrounging up duds? Time and patience may net you a suitable collection, but with luck on your side, you're bound to find some swell keepers. No, no, hold on to anything shiny. It may be of hidden value. Be careful not to get distracted by your newfound fortunes. Uh-oh, that wasn't the only pest. It looks like luck has helped you once again. Unfortunately, she can't save you from every situation. At least your misfortune can become someone else's fortune. Luck may be fickle, but if you can woo her to your side, the possibilities are endless. A particularly bloody mess with little a chance to build a streak of destruction that cut the magic of the unexpected all. Regularly study your vault tech provided materials to prepare for survival. And to answer the question, do you know what makes you special? Lonsay Mechanist here. Th no, this is not a World of Warships Legends video. I decided to take a break from the monotony. I'd been posting a lot of uh, Legends videos. So, I dug Fallout 4 out of my uh, video game library. I say library uh, loosely. But um, I decided to dig Fallout 4 out and give it a shot. Now... You'll, now, I do have several trophies, but uh, like I said, um, like I mentioned before, there had been some, uh, I, I had had, I had suffered some, for some issues, which uh, deleted my local data, so I will probably be starting from a clean, from a blank slate, brand new start, and just in case it isn't obvious enough, this is the title screen, so I'm going to be starting fresh. And there are, and I, well, the game's been out for several years now, but spoiler alert for the story, just in case. You heard it first, spoiler alert. All right. Yep. All right, yep. Hmm. Oh, there we go. All right. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Let's see how far we can get. I'm hoping I can at least clear the vault and get down to Sanctuary. But we'll just have to see.
right? And fair bit of warning, I do like the cinematics. War. And I do like the cutscenes. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay, now we're at the cut at the uh, character customization screen. Um, I don't really put too much work into the customization. Uh, not trying to make a. Uh, customer look like uh, not trying to make the the character look like me so let's see hmm Oh my! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you gotta have some soul, huh? No? The Wild West called. It wants its mustache back. Ain't gonna be walking in. This ain't New Vegas. I ain't gonna be walking into a casino. If only motorcycles were in the game, huh? Is that a mustache or is there something or is there something living on that living on his face? Hmm. Mr. President? Hmm. 
Yeah, that might be a little too much beard. There we go. Ooh, scruff. Very manly. <laughs> Looking good, if I do say so myself. All right. John totally has your eyes. What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? My handsome husband. Yeesh. That works. Hmm, this new haircut's really working for me. That'll work. Okay. That works. And yeah, okay. I think we'll. I think that's for our. Uh, that that should do for our character. I'm not gonna go too outlandish, and I'm not gonna be ridiculous. All right, here we go. Exploring the house a bit. Good old USA. Yeah, man. There we go. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. War never changes. <laughs> Got that right. No need to get dressed twice. Favorite. 
Hmm. More the same. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Looks like the milk got delivered. But Codsworth is really good with Sean. Can someone so small drink so much? Nuka Cola, ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury steak, graded A plus. I'm so proud of her. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national <laughs> Bunch of our old holotape recordings. Well, might as well go see what he wants. Answer the door and he'll come. Good morning. Vault Tech calling. Vault Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. And I also tend to be a little bit polite in my dialogue unless someone really is just being an asshole. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I hmm. know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. The family service translation: the main character, the ma the man's, the ma the male character's prior military service. Let's see. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. All right. Pretty much allows for an average build. Hmm. And it has been a while since I played Fallout 4, so 
I do not exactly remember all the skill sets, uh, the perks, but I, mean, I guess that's part of the fun of starting Blank Slate. So, our weak point, the character's weak points is going to be his agility and his strength. Well, hang on a minute. Yeah, weapon accuracy. Luck and perception is going to be average. Uh, endurance and charisma is going to be normal. And intelligence is going to be slightly above average. All right, then. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Oh. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Douglas, Sean has been changed. Of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. <laughs> Another fine product of General Atomics International. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. A Braxo for all your cleaning needs. I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. <laughs> How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? And thus it starts. Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, uh, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Uh, huh. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got charge. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. People trying to get their luggage in before the bombs. That's absurd. I am on the list. You don't get it. I'm going in. You can't stop me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Vault Tech rep tries to get in. If you're in the they don't let him. Forward, otherwise, return home. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck. You two, man. follow me. God Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Vault Tech security vault suit plus uh, flak armor, basically. Sir, we need to send you down to the vault. Step on the platform. 
step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh! oh my God. Hold on! And there you have it. We made it in the vault. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, we no. Don't, pay, huh? don't get caught up thinking about that. You're this is our now. new home. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Nail. This way. Hey there. Tech is here for you. Oh, all new residents. This way. Please proceed in a orderly fashion. Welcome. Okay. Welcome. Pick up the suit right over there. Hey. Hello there. Once we seal the vault, we'll all be getting to know each other a lot more, I'm sure. Yeah, right. Take a vault Good. seat, then head down the hall. Right over there, folks. Just step over to the table. Yeah, looks fine. Over there. Take a suit. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. It's down the hallway right there. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. Sir? Your mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't make it? I know this is a difficult time, but vault Tech will be with you every step of the way. You'll thrive. How, how long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical we, items we, we have to check off the list they come in. to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside. Everything okay? Put on your Go ahead. I just want to give Sean a moment. Pressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. A decontamination pod my ass. More like cryogenic 
and a, more, more like cryostatic and a cryostasis. This is the one. Here. Open it. Open it. And yeah, uh, spoiler alert right quick. back on ice. Why would Voltaire do this? Can't be the only one left. Hello? Anyone? Oh, God. Yeah, pretty much all the people, uh, same cause of death, asphyxiation due to life support failure. But yeah, Vault 111 was a cryogenic research plant. <coughs> basically experimenting on, a. going to be able to go that way. But yeah, Vault 111 was cryogenic research. If I remember the story of the vault correctly, ooh, 
New York nightmare. If I remember the story correctly, the vault was supposed to put everyone in cryogenics, and then after uh, a set period of time, an all clear was supposed to be given, allowing the staff to vacate, but they would leave the cryogenic uh, vault dwellers behind for as long as the cryogenics held out. Um, due to the events of Fallout 3, in which basically nu nuclear bombs fell on DC and Vault Tech headquarters, no all clear was ever given. And the rations began to run out in Vault 111, thus basically um, leading to a <laughs> fallout, falling out between the security personnel and the science staff. This culminated with a, I think it was a basic, uh, it was a small war inside the vault. Here it is right here. Designed to test long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties, insubordination or interference are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. So basically, if you went against the grain with Vault 11's uh, project or with any Vault project, they could kill you. Vault Tech was part of Operation Safe House. The construction of multiple uh, vaults throughout the nation. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary. All, once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances. Science staff. Life-saving intervention is only permitted... If greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension, independent research is encouraged and left to overseer discretion. Security duties. Here it is. Radiation levels, enemy invasions, subsequent attacks, other factors. D once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all clear notice. Vault tech personnel may be evacuated. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with Vault tech, including government and military. Residents are not to residents will are not to be disrupted or evacuated. Vault Tech will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff has been evacuated. Basically continuing to monitor cryogenic stasis until they get bored of the project. Vault 111 is a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties until all clear is given. In absence of all clear, overseer may elect to evacuate staff uh, after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days. Under no circumstances will anyone leave the vault during the shelter period unless an all-clear message is given. And security logs. Starting with uh, D-Day, October 23rd, 2077. December 25th, Christmas. March. 
Only a few weeks left in the mandatory shelter period and everyone's getting stir-crazy. It's the fact it's the fact that we only have enough food for another few months tops April 23rd 2028 Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind No all clear from vault tech is coming Almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. Could you imagine the situation getting so dire for food that you almost kill someone for dropping a cracker, a saltine cracker, on the floor? Those things don't even have any nutrition. It's just salt and bad and overcooked breading. Supposed to hand over all any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight, or there's going to be consequences. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. So the one, so Vault 111, the experiment lasted apparently from October 20, 23rd, 2077 to April 23rd, 2078. That is a period of let's see, October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May. Eight months. An eight month period. There's a lot of stuff you can pick up that you can actually use in crafting, but crafting ain't going to be available until later on in the game when it becomes relevant. For now. Let's just get out. Let's just try to get out of here. Let's see. Ooh. First kill. Giant. Roach. Roaches? What the hell? That's what I asked too, buddy. Hello. Use of recreational terminal is privilege. The privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Top ten. But yeah, you can see that uh, this has degraded horribly. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be very wise to go that way. Roasted roach. Got that one. Got that one. What happened here? Where is everyone? Skeleton. Um, obviously they're dead. That's two more roaches. And we are in the overseer's office. Is this all that's left? Of the overseer? Yep. And judging by the hole in the floor, looks like... Looks like he was looks like he got blown out of his chair by something. Let's see, ten millimeter, ten millimeter. Overseer's terminal. Ah, yep. Here's the uh, overseer's eyes only. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for cadaver disposal. 
And let's see, his own personal project, the Cryolator. Cryogenic freezing in a portable on-demand form. Basically a freeze gun. Overseer's log. Preparations. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. You'd be disappointed, I think. Or horrified. It's happening. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. Only one person, Nordhagen, was missing. Systems malfunction. Pod C3. The pod was malfunctioning. Cryogenic array was al almost started thawing her out. Suspect a hiccup in vault -Tec's remote override systems may have sent an errant signal. Supplies running low. No all clear signal. We're nearing the end of the 180 day mandatory shelter period. If people think they can just leave when the 180 days are up there insane, the radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry every one of the vault seals or breach that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. Even, in the, even to the end, he was still holding out for an all clear signal that would never come. Mutiny. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, there's fewer mouths to feed. Okay, opening the evacuation tunnel, we'll be getting out of the vault. <clears throat> Before exiting and resealing the vault. Please maintain all staff records and research. Report your, to your local vault tech superiors for debriefing and further instructions. Yep, there's the cryo later. Of course, it's behind a master lock. Nice. Come so, back later for you. don't have no bobby pins. Let's take an extra pistol, ammunition. Let's see. Overseer's room. Got a stim pack in there. Curious at how much time has passed for things to reach this kind of a point. Okay, we got a bobby pin. Lock's really strong. Yeah, lock is too difficult. <laughs> Gonna have to boost to maximum before we can uh, do anything with it. Fallout 3 was, uh... Fallout 3 was a blind fire. Basically, the gun just zoomed in. With New Vegas, they started aiming down the sights, and this translated to Fallout 4 pretty well. Seems to be more roaches. Okay, we're in the evacuation tunnel. That's the use of the vats.
Yep, so the door finally opened. Got some ammunition here. But yeah, Vault 111 was a lot smaller than some of the other vaults. This is the guy who basically welcomed us. Okay, there's the perk chart. Okay. I'll look through that later. Okay, we got two pistols. Yeah, you can see the top you can see the date on the uh the bottom of the map. October 23rd, 2287. So the Vault Tech experiment lasted eight months from October 20 from October 23rd, 2077 to April 2078. So it barely lasted eight months, and here you are after oh 210 years, give or take. All right, ready to go. I love how they did this animation with vault with the vault door, though, and it's repeatable with the other vaults scattered throughout the wasteland, provided you're not in power armor. Yep. Those who were reserved spots in Vault 111 had no idea they would be cryogenically frozen. In fact, almost every vault was actually a secret social experiment conducted by Vault Tech. what's left of Sanctuary Hills home
Alrighty. I think this is where I'm going to stop the video for tonight. I may continue. I may continue on a little bit more, but for now, uh, got to call the time before you know the video starts looping back over itself. So, I'm gonna save. Alrighty. And this was Lance Mechanist, Fallout 4. If you all liked the video, please like and subscribe for more content. As always, feel free to drop a comment. I will answer them. Y'all have a good night now. And enjoy.